All right, let's talk about how to pinpoint a compound inequality in a word problem. So this problem, Jill wants to find her test average in her algebra class. The scores that she made on her tests are 75, 82, 78, and 85. What does she need to score on her next test if she wants her average to be between 78 and 80? Okay, right there we see two constraints on her average. They say minimum of 78, maximum of 80. Because there's two constraints, we know this is a compound inequality problem. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up like I've, I've already learned how to do. I put the least number on the left, the greatest number on the right, okay? So I know it needs to be in between 78 and 80. Now at this point, before I move on, I want to make sure I don't need the little um, equal to symbols underneath my left-hand symbols. So I go back up to the problem. It says she wants her average to be between. This word between implies that we are not going to put the equal to symbols underneath. We literally want it to be in between. Not, not right on, in between, right? If I told you to walk between two, um, you know, flags or something like that, you wouldn't walk over the flag, you'd go in between them. So we are going to assume that we do not want to include 78 and we do not want to include 80, okay? So her average is going to go in the middle of this, which means we need to create an averaging formula. So it says her tests were 75, 82, 78, 85, and I'm going to go ahead and add an X because her last score has to be included in that because that's what her final average is going to be computed as. So when you're averaging, you add all the numbers up and divide by the number of values, which would be 5. Now I can just solve, right? So I start working backwards. This 5 is like a giant bodyguard, so I want to multiply all three pieces by 5. My 5's cancel. Over here, I've got 390. Over here, I've got 400. On the inside, I'm going to go ahead and simplify this top um, portion of the fraction, the, the numerator, into just one number plus x, just to save myself some room. So I'm going to go ahead and add her scores. Um, oh, I went a little out of order there. 75, 78, 82, 85. So let's see, what is that? We've got 16, 14, 32. So 320 plus that last score that we don't know. So, again, the sum of all of her tests needs to be in between 390 and 400, right? Well, the tests she's taken so far add up to 320. We need to know what that last one needs to be. So, the, so the, to the total sum is between 390 and 400. So I'm going to subtract 320 from all sides. So I've got 70 is less than x is less than 80. So we now know her score on her last test needs to be in between a 70 and an 80. So she can get a 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, but that's it. Can't have the 80, can't have the 70. She could have decimals in between, fractions in between, but not 70, not 80. All right, so let's do one more problem. So Nathan will be working between 30 to 39 hours, inclusive. Right off the bat, we see our two constraints, okay? You'll notice that the word between is there, like it was on the last one, but there's a different word here that actually trumps the between. Okay, the word inclusive implies that we actually do want to include the two numbers in our solution set. So his hours need to be between 30 and 39, but the inclusive means, hey, go ahead and put those equal to symbols on there. We want to include those in our solution. So and then I keep reading this week, which is three more than triple what he worked last week. So here's triple last week and three more. How many hours did he work last week? So at this point, we just solve, no big deal. Subtract 3 from all portions, 27 is less than or equal to 3x is less than or equal to 36. Divide by 3 on all portions, so 9 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 12. Okay? So again, we're talking about hours he's going to work. This means that he should work anywhere between 9 and 12 hours, or exactly 9, or exactly 12. Sound good? One last thing, for your video, I mean for your um, checkout assessment, you are supposed to tell me the secret word. In this case, it's a secret phrase. Your secret phrase is how about them cowboys? So go ahead and write that down in your journal if you would like to successfully check out of level, what level are we on? Six? Level six.